In the mystical land of Eldoria, where dragons soared through cerulean skies, their wings casting shadows over the verdant valleys below, a sense of magic and wonder permeated the air. The dragons, majestic and powerful, were the guardians of this enchanted realm, their presence a symbol of balance and harmony. The ancient forests, with their towering trees and whispering leaves, held secrets that had been passed down through generations. These woods were alive with the songs of birds and the rustle of unseen creatures, their mysteries waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to venture into their depths. In the quaint village of Briarwood, nestled at the edge of these mystical woods, there lived a young man named Caelan. He was an apprentice blacksmith, toiling daily in the forge, his hands calloused from the heat and the hammer. Yet, despite the routine of his days, Caelan's heart yearned for adventure. He often found himself gazing beyond the horizon, dreaming of the unknown lands and the heroic deeds that awaited him. One fateful day, while gathering herbs for his master, Caelan's curiosity led him deeper into the forest than he had ever ventured before. The air grew cooler, and the light dimmed as the trees closed in around him. It was then that he stumbled upon a hidden glade, a place untouched by time and shrouded in an ethereal glow. At the centre of the glade stood a majestic tree, its bark shimmering with an otherworldly light. The tree seemed to pulse with a life of its own, its branches reaching out as if to embrace the sky. Caelan felt a strange pull towards it, an inexplicable connection that drew him closer. As he approached, Caelan noticed a small, ornate chest nestled among the roots of the tree. The chest was intricately carved with symbols and runes that seemed to dance in the dappled sunlight. It was as if the chest had been waiting for him, hidden away until the right moment. With trembling hands, Caelan opened the chest to reveal a strange, pulsating gem. The gem glowed with a light that seemed to come from within, its surface smooth and warm to the touch. The moment his fingers brushed its surface, a vision flashed before his eyes. A vision of a great dragon bound in chains of darkness, deep within the heart of the Forbidden Mountains. The vision was vivid and intense, showing the dragon's scales dulled by the weight of its imprisonment, its eyes filled with a sorrow that pierced Caelan's heart. He could feel the dragon's pain and its desperate plea for freedom. The vision left him breathless, his mind racing with questions and a newfound sense of purpose. Startled and intrigued, Caelan sought out the village elder, Ilara, who was known for her wisdom in matters of the arcane. Ilara was a figure of great respect in Briarwood, her knowledge of the ancient ways and the mystical arts unmatched. She had seen many things in her long life, and her eyes held the secrets of the ages. Ilara's eyes widened as she examined the gem. This is a dragon heart, she whispered, her voice filled with awe. A relic of immense power, said to be the very essence of a dragon's soul. The dragon you saw is Arian, the last of the celestial dragons. He was betrayed and imprisoned by the sorcerer Malachar centuries ago. Elara's words painted a picture of Arian, a dragon of unparalleled strength and wisdom, whose very existence was tied to the fate of Eldoria. If Arian remains bound, she continued, darkness will soon engulf our world, the balance will be shattered and chaos will reign. The tale of Arion's betrayal was one of sorrow and treachery. Malachar, a sorcerer consumed by his lust for power, had deceived Arion using dark magic to bind him in chains forged from the very essence of the night. The dragon's imprisonment had allowed Malachar to spread his influence, casting a shadow over the land. The darkness that threatened to engulf Eldoria was not just a physical manifestation, but a creeping despair that sapped the hope and joy from the hearts of its people. The once vibrant and thriving land was slowly succumbing to the encroaching gloom, its beauty fading under the weight of Malachar's curse. Determined to save Eldoria and restore the balance, Caelan embarked on a quest to free Arion. His heart was filled with a mix of fear and determination, knowing that the path ahead would be fraught with danger. Yet he could not turn away from the vision that had called to him, the dragon's plea echoing in his mind. 
Along his journey, Caelan faced many trials, from navigating the treacherous swamps of Mordar, where the very ground seemed to shift and change beneath his feet, to battling the creatures that lurked in the shadows. The swamps were a place of danger and deception, their murky waters hiding threats both seen and unseen. In the Lost Temple, Caelan had to decipher ancient runes that held the key to unlocking the next part of his journey. The temple was a place of wonder and mystery, its walls adorned with carvings that told the stories of Eldoria's past. Each rune was a piece of the puzzle, a step closer to freeing Arian. Along the way, he was joined by a diverse group of companions. Lyra, a fierce warrior with a mysterious past whose strength and courage were matched only by her loyalty. Theron, a cunning rogue who could slip through any shadow, his quick wit and nimble fingers invaluable in their quest. And Aeliana, a healer whose songs could mend both body and spirit, her gentle touch a balm to their weary souls. Theron's skills as a rogue were put to the test time and again, his ability to move unseen and unheard proving crucial in their encounters with Malachan demons. His past was shrouded in mystery, but his loyalty to Caelan and their cause was unwavering. Aeliana's healing magic was a gift from the ancient spirits, her songs weaving a tapestry of light and hope that lifted their spirits and healed their wounds. Her presence was a reminder of the beauty and goodness that still existed in the world, even in the face of darkness. As they neared the Forbidden Mountains, Caelan and his friends confronted Malachar's minions, gargantuan trolls and sinister wraiths. The battles were fierce and unrelenting, each victory hard won and each defeat a reminder of the stakes. The mountains loomed ahead, their peaks shrouded in mist and mystery. Despite the odds, their resolve never wavered. Each step brought them closer to their goal, their bond growing stronger with every challenge they faced. They were more than just companions. They were a family, united by a common purpose and a shared destiny. Finally, they reached the summit where Arian lay chained, his once brilliant scales dulled by the weight of dark magic. The sight of the great dragon, bound and broken, filled Caelan with a renewed sense of urgency. He knew that the time had come to face Malachar and free Arion from his chains. Malachar himself appeared, a figure cloaked in darkness, wielding power that made the very air crackle with energy. His eyes burned with a malevolent light, and his voice was a hiss of venom and hatred. A fierce battle ensued, the clash of light and darkness echoing across the mountains. Caelan, empowered by the Dragonheart, fought valiantly against the sorcerer. The gem's power flowed through him, filling him with a strength and courage he had never known. His friends fought by his side, their combined efforts a testament to their unity and determination. With his friend's support, he shattered Malachar's staff, the source of his dark power. The staff broke with a resounding crack, its pieces falling to the ground like shards of night. The dark magic that had bound Arian began to dissolve, the chains melting away like shadows in the light. The chains binding Arian dissolved, and the dragon roared triumphantly, his scales radiating light once more. The sight of the freed dragon filled Caelan and his friends with a sense of triumph and relief. Arian's roar echoed across the mountains, a sound of victory and freedom. As dawn broke, Arian, now free, offered Caelan a ride on his back. The young blacksmith climbed onto the dragon's back, feeling the powerful muscles beneath him and the rush of wind as Arian took to the skies. It was a moment of pure exhilaration, a dream come true. From the skies, Caelan saw Eldoria bathed in the dragon's light, a beacon of hope for the future. The land below seemed to come alive, the darkness retreating in the face of Arian's radiant presence. It was a sight that filled Caelan's heart with hope and determination. However, Arian warned him of a lingering darkness, a shadowy figure who had aided Malachar and sought to continue his dark legacy. The dragon's words were a reminder that their victory was not the end, but a new beginning. The shadowy figure was out there, plotting in the shadows, and the battle between light and darkness was far from over. Returning to Briarwood, Caelan was hailed as a hero, but he knew his journey was far from over. The village celebrated their return, the streets filled with laughter and joy, but Caelan's mind was already on the next challenge. He knew that the fight for Eldoria's future was just beginning. 
The threat of darkness loomed still, and the mysterious figure was out there, plotting in the shadows. The village of Briarwood, though safe for now, was not immune to the encroaching darkness. Caelan could feel the weight of his responsibility, the burden of the Dragonheart heavy on his shoulders. Caelan vowed to protect Eldoria, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. He knew that the road would be long and difficult, but he was not alone. With his friends by his side and the Dragonheart in his possession, he was prepared to stand against the darkness and fight for the light. As the village celebrated, Caelan stood on the outskirts gazing toward the horizon where new adventures awaited. The future was uncertain, but it was also filled with endless possibilities. He felt a sense of anticipation and excitement, knowing that his journey was far from over. He felt a mix of anticipation and uncertainty, but with his friends by his side and the dragon heart in his possession, he was ready for whatever came next. The bond they shared was unbreakable, their friendship a source of strength and hope. Together, they would face the challenges ahead and forge their own destiny. And so, the story of Caelan and his companions continued, their fates intertwined with the magic and mystery of Eldoria. In a world where heroes were born, legends were made, and the battle between light and darkness was never truly over. The journey ahead was filled with unknowns, but it was also filled with hope, courage, and the promise of new adventures.